right now on Fox 5 News at 10. Well, news of the accident comes on the heels of a new study linking the opioid crisis to a major uptick in fatal crashes. Jennifer Williams shows us why the problem may be an epidemic worse than drunk driving. You know, we're fortunate to live in an era where drunk driving is, is appropriately stigmatized and driving while intoxicated uh, under the influence of opiates should be the same. A .08 blood alcohol level will lead to a DUI conviction. Prescription opioids can warrant a .05 reading and they will affect the alertness and reactiveness of those using them. As providers, it's on us to make sure patients are aware of the risk factors when taking these potentially dangerous mm -hmm. medications, especially when driving. In the past 25 years, the percentage of fatal car crashes involving a driver who used prescription painkillers has tripled. Among those accidents, 55% were caused by drivers who failed to stay in their lane. These characteristics can make you um, most commonly not stay in your lane, not yield to the right traffic, uh, and essentially not follow common traffic rules. These are highly sedating medications that have a significant impact on a variety of neurological functions. There's nothing safe about driving on opiates. Those thinking of driving while taking painkillers should think again. The dosage, depending on what other medications you can be taking, even a small dose can have a big effect. So if you're taking opioids, it's probably best to not drive at all. My advice would be fairly simple. Don't. Just don't do it. In Forest Hills, I'm Jennifer Williams, Fox 5 News.